Hello everyone, my name is Saur and welcome to the 28th devlog of Mortal Glory 2, a turn-based gladiator roguelike. The first thing I did this week was add taunting to the game. Gameplay-wise it's very <laughs> unimportant, but I mean it was a very quick thing to add and I think it will add some flavor to the game and hopefully make some players go like, what? You taunt me? I will show you. I will also use this for like special fights, like for example the final fight in the game, but I mean <laughs> I won't spoil that here, so yeah, let's move on. Then as another quick thing, I added this like duration indicator to my environmental tiles. So basically if they're running out of the duration, they will start like phasing out <laughs> of existence so that alpha level is adjusted so I, that that's like a small nice addition to let the players know when the tiles are running out and previously i tried this like scaling animation that it will get smaller uh, as time goes on but but in some cases it looked <laughs> kind of funny with the pixel graphics so yeah i went with the alpha thing instead let me know how it looks to your eye then as a necessary evil I went to my options menu and did some finalization over there making everything look a bit prettier than it was before and, and then on the code side I did the key binding stuff so making it actually work. With the bindings I was luckily able to use a lot of the code I had in my previous game so it didn't actually take too much time to implement the key bindings. Next I decided to implement one a major feature to the game, kind of, and that was the tutorial system. Personally, I kind of hate these like big time consuming tutorials, and I imagine it's not like super uncommon thing either. So, in my game, I figured I will try to keep it very simple, and I decided that I won't have like this separate tutorial you need to go through and instead I will have this like tutorial tips that will pop up if you have them enabled so the game will keep track like when you encounter something new that is worthy to tell the player something about then uh, they will get a pop up on the screen like hey blah 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 uh, you should know this and then you can just like it doesn't even pause the game, so you can just leave it there if you want or just like click it away. Then as a related feature, I also added this like tutorial tip history page to the pause menu. So basically that will hold all the tutorial tips that are shown in the game uh, as a list by category. So if you accidentally click some tutorial tip away or maybe you want to go read something again. So yeah, those are all then listed there. And as a nice thing, I am dynamically creating the page, so I don't actually need to touch it anymore. It will just like uh, update as needed when I add the tutorial tips. And hey, that's actually everything I have for this devlog. So as per usual, I would love to know what you think about the stuff I did. Any comments, feedback, ideas, suggestions, all that stuff, <laughs> let me know in the comments. But yeah, otherwise, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.